Hello! Today is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. I'm just going to show you how I budget in Notion. Uh, this is a simple budget planner that is pretty straightforward. I have a monthly budget that I want to abide by every month generally, and at the end of every four months I average my total expenses to see if I am under or over budget generally. If you're looking to track financial stuff on Notion, I will say it isn't super easy. Uh, these are databases, not spreadsheets. Spreadsheets may be more beneficial for you if you want to do something a little bit more complicated. And in this video, if you're not really looking for a budget planner, I do go over the max and min functions in Notion to return the highest and lowest values in a group of properties. And I also find the averages in a group of properties. So let's get into it. This is how I budget in Notion. First, a monthly budget on the far left. Next to that are the names of the things I want to budget. Utilities, groceries, entertainment, and rent are examples here. And then I have all of the months across in properties. The months of the year are divided into three parts. And at the end of each part, I determine if on average I was below or above budget. That is shown by these emojis, red being over and green being under. The numbers wrapping around these emojis tell me what value is the highest in this part and what value is the lowest. In other words, what is the most I spent in a given month and what is the least. The lock emojis show me that this particular expense is a fixed expense. And I don't want this over under formula to include fixed expenses. At the end of the year, I calculate how much I have spent for the entire year. And again, I return if I was on average over or under budget. First, I want to grab the total of this part of the year. To do this, we're gonna go January plus February plus March plus April. And that will give us the total of January through April. And I'm gonna hide this because this is only useful for the yearly roundup at the end. Before determining if the overall expenses were above or below budget, I want to show you how to return the highest value in a group and the lowest value. So to return the highest, we're gonna go max, property January, comma, February, comma, March, comma, April. And this will show us the highest value. To find the minimum, we'll go M-I-N. Now I wanna find the average of these four months. So I'm going to go prop January plus February plus March plus April. Close this out in its own bracket and divide by four. This is our average. Now we want to determine if this average is above or below the monthly budget. We're going to close all this out so we can see that if the result of all of this is greater than prop monthly budget, then I want to return the over emojis, which are four red circles. Otherwise, let's leave it blank for now. So if you want a minimal look, this is pretty nice. These red emojis will just show if you are over budget upon a quick glance. Now I want to include some of those max min functions into this and display at the top of these four emojis the maximum I spent in this part of the year and on the bottom the minimum. So on this side of the formula, which shows us the output, I'm going to add max space dollar sign plus I'm going to format that max function that we went over earlier, so prop January, comma, February, comma, March, comma, April. Close that out. And we should have 
this max in here. Now it looks a little wonky, so I want to add a space before this emoji. Nice. You can also adjust these column properties and have these emojis on the side. I like to keep it like this. So now let's add minimum and we're gonna put it on this side of the emoji and go plus min space dollar sign plus again format so it's text and min prop january comma february comma march comma april now i want to replace this max with a graph emoji going up and the min with a graph emoji going down so highlight max we'll delete it and on a Mac, if you want to get emojis up like this, it's going to be control command space. Let's do that. And for min going down. So if we also want those green emojis for the instance of under budget, I am going to create two if conditions in if statements and a third for this fixed instance. So let's actually delete this and start over. Let's say if empty prop select. So this select here, if it is empty and if prop January plus February plus March plus April divided by four is greater than prop monthly budget then we want that emoji going up space dollar sign plus format max properties January, February, March, and April plus our red emojis. plus the down graph space dollar sign plus format minimum property property January, February, March, and April. The next instance is gonna pretty much say the same thing. So we're just gonna copy this condition, paste it in here, except Instead of being greater than the budget, it's going to be less than the budget. And replace these with green emojis. Now we're going to add another condition for if prop select equals fixed, then for lock emojis. Otherwise, so false condition, it's going to be empty. There are three overall conditions, so we're going to go three parentheses. I do the same thing for every part of the year. So May through August and September through December. Also calculating the total sum in that other hidden property. And that'll be three hidden part properties that I will use to determine our averages for the year. So pretty much in the same structure, we're gonna go if empty prop select. So if select is empty and prop budget times 12. So that's for the whole year is greater than property part one plus part two plus part three. If this is the case, then I want it to return year in budget with four rainbow emojis. And for our second condition, it's going to be if empty is select and again, prop monthly budget times 12 is less than 
part one plus part two plus part three, then over budget with four sad face emojis. Otherwise empty. If I want to determine what I spent in an entire month Despite the expense, I can look down here at calculating the sum. I can also calculate the average or the median or the max, but I'm gonna keep it at sum. I can also come in here and create new database views. So I can create one for part one that will only show January through April. and then show for part two, and go into properties and adjust all of this to only show me part two. And so on and so forth.